August 5th, The Bewildering Call of God And all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man will be accomplished. But they understood none of these things. Luke 18, verses 31 and 34 God called Jesus Christ to what seemed absolute disaster, and Jesus Christ called his disciples to see him put to death, leading every one of them to the place where their hearts were broken. His life was an absolute failure from every standpoint except God's. But what seemed to be a failure from man's standpoint was a triumph from God's standpoint, because God's purpose is never the same as man's purpose. This bewildering call of God comes into our lives as well. The call of God can never be understood absolutely or explained externally. It is a call that can only be perceived and understood internally by our true inner nature. The call of God is like the call of the sea. No one hears it except the person who has the nature of the sea in him. What God calls us to cannot be definitely stated because his call is simply to be his friend, to accomplish his own purposes. Our real test is in truly believing that God knows what he desires. The things that happen do not happen by chance. They happen entirely by the decree of God. God is sovereignly working out his own purposes. If we are in fellowship and oneness with God and recognize that he is taking us into his purposes, then we will no longer strive to find out what his purposes are. As we grow in the Christian life, it becomes simpler to us. Because we are less inclined to say, I wonder why God allowed this or that, and we begin to see that the compelling purpose of God lies behind everything in life, and that God is divinely shaping us into oneness with that purpose. A Christian is someone who trusts in the knowledge and in the wisdom of God, not in his own abilities. If we have a purpose of our own, it destroys the simplicity and the calm, relaxed pace which should be characteristic of the children of God.